I wanted to write a little, um, uh, record a little video, kind of giving a tour of Great Bend. And that was my intent, but you know, good intentions, as I say. So I hurriedly tried to put together some uh, back footage that I had. And I thought, well, this might suffice. Um, it's not what I wanted, but it's what it is. So uh, hopefully it might uh, give a little picture of Great Bend that people out who haven't been there who might otherwise um, uh, not have. Uh, there's one little part that I want to clarify. Um, there's a notable resident of Great Bend, a former resident who grew up there called uh, Jack Kilby. And I uh, take you by his house and then the next scene goes right to a, um, a statue. Well, I stupidly fail to identify what the statue is. I don't know why I didn't. Um, but that is the Jack Kilby Memorial statue that's in front of the Barton County Community Courthouse. So I wanted to give a little clarification on exactly what that part was. It's early in the morning. I am standing against my car ready to uh, make my trip down to my, my annual pilgrimage down to the early morning coffee shops. And um, it's time to start on my uh, uh, tour video of Great Bend. Well, here is one of Great Bend's five coffee shops. It's uh, called Great Bend Coffee, and uh, it's put it's um, set into the old Masonic Lodge. It used to be here. I don't know when the Masonic Lodge went out, but as you can see, it has a very uh, um, different architecture on the outside. Um, excellent place to eat, excellent coffee. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, right down here on the right is the old Crest Theater. It used to be a movie theater way back in the day. Uh, I think they closed it somewhere, oh, probably the late 80s. I can remember seeing movies there. Um, the interesting thing about, it's really bizarre. You know, you think about movies today making so much money, but when I was a kid, you know, even at the Crest Theater there, I can remember standing in line waiting for them, the, um, the movie. You know, I, I haven't stood in line and waited for a movie for years around here. Um, I don't know if that's because there's more theaters than there was um, back in those days, but um, uh, it kind of, you know, it kind of gave a special meaning to going to see movies when you had to, when you had a crowd of people with you, when it's just you, I, I don't know. Anyway, here I am turning back onto Main Street, and I will be parking at my usual spot right here in front of uh, Perks Coffee. Uh, my coffee, um, that's the name of the place, is just across the street and back a little ways. So, what I usually do is I spend several hours here got uh, Wi-Fi hookup and um, nice people and I enjoy it so if you take a look right here this is perks and that's right there on that window it says uh, sandwiches salads wraps and soups there is a seat and for most of the day I will be occupied right well it's early morning I am at my uh, place I'd like to go work out any kind of fitness right behind me there over the uh, right shoulder I guess it is um, it is a part of a new strip mall that came into play, I don't know, five, six years ago called Cottonwood Center, um, right next to Walmart, just over the street. And if you look at the street right there, that is called the infamous Penn Street. It's also Highway 96 and 56 that traverses Great Bend. What you're seeing there in the background is Great Bend's 10th Street across way is, um, I don't know what that is across the way, I guess a, something. Uh, Steeter Contractors is over there. Um, there's an animal, there's a Sarley Bakery outlet just right next to me, and there's the Animal Hospital. McDonald's is on the other side of the uh, Sarah Lee building. And let's see what else can I come up with. Um, I get the, there's the Dollar Tree across the street, and there is the Walmart sign, brand new Walmart sign, how about that? It used to say um, 24 hours a day, 
or open 24 hours, or whatever the sign was. Now it just says that, so I'm assuming that all the Walmarts will remain open 24 hours a day, but you never know. I'm sitting here at um, Veterans Memorial Park in uh, Gray Bend, Kansas, wanting to give some um, uh, exposure, you know, saying this is what Great Bend is, uh, this is what to expect. Veterans Memorial Park Lake, I guess that's what they call it. Um, I believe it's man-made. There's no outlet to it. It's just a place where people go um, to park. You know, um, across the way is the, um, there's my car. Okay, this is extremely, extremely difficult. Um, well, it, uh, it's just past six o'clock now. I'm just now leaving the library behind me there. Here is, um, right behind me there, is the, um, gosh, I forgot the name for it. <laughs> it's where the art gallery is. It's where the, uh, the, the theater is, it's, um, it's where I took many of my classes when I took classes out here. Um, excellent teachers, wonderful environment. This is, as you can see, it is a Civil War soldier. And let me see if I can get close enough to uh, read the inscription, the, the plaque. Erected and dedicated by Ira D. Brewer, Department Commander, to Pap Thomas Postman. Well, you can read it. I have no idea who any of those men are. But it does list what I am assuming is some of the men in that post on the other side. So it's kind of nice to um, have a statue in the, in the town interesting thing that always strikes me is I just wonder how much care these statues get. I'm not talking about just this one here. I mean this one looks pretty good. But I've seen some statues that just it's like they build it and then they let the weather take care of it until it all rots away. Just my thought. Um, here's some more great band across the way. That is the old post office. It, uh, Recently it's been a uh, children's center, now it is currently the Family Crisis Center. Go down this way, over there is the J.C. Penney Building and a number of businesses along the way. That street there is called Broadway. And on the other side of the intersection is the, on the other side of the trees, is where the Bank of America building is. This down this street now is uh, Main Street. And just a typical Main Street, a lot of old buildings, you know, all the way back from the uh, probably 1800s, I imagine. Not exactly certain what the dates are, but it's just like any typical Main Street you'll see. I am, uh, right now I'm seated at the uh, Courthouse Square. This, what is this? This is the, uh, can you see that? I don't know. I still have a mask to this. This is a memorial band shell. See if I can. This is a memorial band shell to someone named Clayton Moses. Moses family. Over there. Um, the Moses family was one of the uh, founding members uh, of this town way, way, way back in the 1870s, 1880s. And I think, I did some research on this once, I think the Clayton Moses was either the son or the grandson of one of the um, uh, founding members. Uh, some guy named Moses came out here uh, and um, back in the 1860s maybe, um, I'm not sure. Uh, the, um, the county courthouse is right behind me, right over there. And then Main Street is off to the right. Activity there in the background. 
Um, this is part of Great Bend. I am on my way back to my dad's. I'm walking along Lake and Avenue. It's not very easy to talk and walk and hold this thing out so I don't look like a doofus as people drive by. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I was just thinking about um, back when I was in the sixth grade, I guess, um, uh, what, what is that, age 12? <laughs> I had the funnest time because I found in my parents' basement an old uh, movie camera they had. And stupid, stupid kid that I was, I took it to school, showed it to all my buddies, and we just had the blast. Uh, we were fearless. I mean, we were reality TV before there was reality TV. We were hitting everybody and everything. And, and, uh, and now I, here I am, struggling with something like this. Um, I started this again because I thought this might become an interesting thing right behind me there you can see that they tell me is the uh, house where Jack Kilby grew up in when he lived here in Great Bend now who is Jack Kilby you say well um, Jack Kilby is one of the men who invented the um, basically the microchip the integrated circuit and without him and whoever he was working with, um, we probably wouldn't have, I wouldn't have this iPad, you know, so that is where Jack Kilby and Great Band grew up. Yes, I am trying to get a picture. I'm doing very well, but I shall try nevertheless. Very, very good. I'm trying to get a picture. Okay, I'm back here at my dad's place. I thought I would give a little bit of a tour if I can. This is the shed. This, I don't know if I can't see. Um, can you see that? That's my car. It's a, it's a 2004 Pontiac Sunfire. Um, not really much of a tour to give. This is the uh, this is the place. Um, it's uh, the official address is 3022 18th Street. It's uh, looks like an old army barracks. That's what Dad thinks that it was. I, I don't know why it would be an old army barracks, but um, it's split up into uh, four apartments. One Dad and I live in is the one here on the end. Been there since uh, 2001. There's my my old car, the uh, 1986 Chevrolet Cavalier. It's seen its better days. And um, there's a tree. Not really much to see, but uh, I thought I would. And I can't really see what I'm seeing because I got a reflection going on the glass here. But hopefully everything looks good. Tornado hit. And I was standing at that door. The wind was blowing, the sounds were sighing, and and I saw the, I saw the the this side this side where where it was right here this side of that old shed just ripped off by the wind, and then the the, um, the roof came crashing down. You know, this is somewhat of what Kansas looks like. Just a bit. 